social media through the social universe, and in many cases, the secrets of the universe itself. This is Kurt Wilhelm, your host of the social universe, and we are joined by uh, Patrice Strong Register, who is also the CEO of PLR Services, um, who does uh, small business consulting and uh, um, virtual assistant services. So um, she can uh, work on site or off site, um, and uh, I think you'll probably love just having all of a sudden everything starts getting done. So uh, that's a, a very important part. Now, if any of you um, are small business owners that are actually, you know, pulling in uh, enough uh, net revenue that you feel like you, you can start playing with the big boys now and becoming vendors. Um, even if you're not. And even <laughs> if you're not. Um, uh, uh, one of the things that Patrice also does for businesses is to help uh, you go on to these uh, uh, mid to, you know, the when we say mid now in this designation, we're talking about uh, 10 million to Fortune 500 level companies that um, will have financial designations for the, the uh, um, type of company they will allow to become their vendor. So vendor app uh, applications to be able to become an approved vendor for some of these companies, you would be surprised. Um, uh, Walmart uh, is a good example. Um, where you might not have to be as large as you might think in order to, to be able to bring something that uh, to the table that Walmart want, might want to put on the shelves. But uh, that could really speed up your business. But do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, Kurt. Um, what about this is um, with Walmart, you know, a lot of the larger companies now, in order for you to do business with them, you have to be registered as one of their vendors. Mm -hmm. And with that, um, it's basically saying that, you know, you are a real company. Um, you have, you know, um, the capability of providing them services, and um, the other thing is, is that the services you provide is something that they need. So, um, and they do a lot of time have what they call diversity suppliers, uh, where they want to do business. Where I talked in the early segment about the uh, that the minority businesses, the uh, disadvantaged businesses, and the small businesses. These larger corporations want to do business with those people who have those designations because it, um, basically what they, they are showing a, a, a way to be able to serve the, the whole community. So if they're doing business with a small business, uh, they have to qualify you as a legitimate business, one. And with that vendor registration, it also includes you may have to submit some financials, um, you know, information if you have a storefront or not. Um, so those are things, some of the, the questions that are being asked when you apply for those uh, registrations. So it's very important that, um, you know, like I said, that's big business. You, it opens up many doors for you, for your business, because now you're able to do business with Intel. Um, you're able to do business with um, just on Honeywell or, or Boeing or um, some of these others. Whereas, you know, it's harder for you to just walk into the doors and say, hey, I'm here, I have a service that you might need. Well, they're going to say, well, are you on our vendor list? You bet. You yeah. know, and, and if you're not, then y you can't do business with them. They, you know, so I, I, if you, you know, have some of those types of questions, I can definitely help you um, get yourself registered on that um, list. And I think it will be very advantageous for you to do so. I would definitely agree, and uh, so there's a lot of services, things you can, you know, to do that you make up, or you may want to just sit down and find out what your business isn't doing currently that Patrice knows it will make a, a business become successful. So these are all wonderful ways um, to be able to util utilize uh, Patrice and feel our services. Um, so now let's talk about uh, uh, marketing. Our, our, our uh, Social Universe uh, talk show is about social media, professional networking, and nonprofits. And uh, I think you have your hands in about all three of those. So uh, tell us from a social media perspective, uh, first of all, what do, you, what do you recommend the small businesses do? Um, and what do you do for your own small business using, utilizing the social media to get the word out? Um, for uh, social media, I do recommend that you get involved in that. Um, simply because everyone is on the internet now. I mean, before it, when the internet kind of first started, you know, people were going out and buying, uh, getting a website, and they really didn't understand why they needed a website. They were just getting it. Just a postage stamp. They yeah, felt. Just, yeah, just a postage stamp. So mm -hmm. you have to be strategic, and just uh, just like with getting the website, you have to make sure your website is serving a purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, the same thing with your social media. Um, just uh, just having a Facebook 
a Facebook page is not enough. You, you need to really be able to promote that page. Um, you need to be able to make it that is, I say, interactive because Facebook has opened up different ways that you can do that now. You can post video, you can post you know, uh, pictures, all types, types of things that kind of get you in the forefront. You can do campaigns, um, you can do fundraising, <laughs> you know, so uh, those are some of the things that I say in your social media, whatever tr uh, social media platform you utilize, make sure that it is something that you understand, one, and that you can really engage and it's going to be, do what it needs to do for your business to promote your business. Um, the four major ones that I really like, um, that I think is very good, of course, is um, Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, it is a, definitely a good tool to utilize. Um, I would say um, um, Dig. Dig is another one that a lot of people don't. They're like, well, what is yeah, Dig? It's not one of the main four. <laughs> it's not a, but I like, like Dig. I, 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 well, I like angles. Dig because you're able to. Um, post articles, like write little things about your business. That's mm -hmm. a marketing tool, you Absolutely. know, telling people about stories, you know. Um, marketing is all about storytelling, if and, you really think about it. And do you understand the mechanism of DIG? Um, uh, do you want to share that? Or uh, there's kind of an angle of DIG that a lot of people are not aware of. Yeah, um, basically what I would suggest people do is, you know, because in every platform there's a help. Uh -huh. I always send you to the help because, you know, even though I may be able to sit down with you and show you, you may not retain everything I tell you. Absolutely. <laughs> and it just looks time. like uh, the show is just about to end. And I, um, I, I wanted to kind of wrap up with uh, Dig. Um, is They take that article that you write and they push it out to people who are interested in your keywords. Mm -hmm. So it's a great way to target market. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you for bringing that up. We yes. haven't actually talked about Dig before. So again, thank you for tuning into the social universe. And uh, we thank all of our listeners that tune in each week. And we look forward uh, to tuning in next week. And thank you again, Patrice, for you coming on our show. Thank you for having me on the show. And if you need help, please, please call me. Um, I, I do free consultation, and you can reach me at 602-633-4912. My website is www.plrservices.com. All right, and uh, we look forward to everyone at the same time next week, and have a great week.